Thomas Edison once said that genius is 10% inspiration and 90% perspiration. My parents were both teachers. I can remember today my dad saying things to my brother and my sister and me like, you know, son, anyone can have a good idea, can have a talent, can have a desire, but you only accomplish great things through hard work. And I think nowhere in the world are those ideas of hard work, going through challenges, capitalizing on opportunity with hard work, does it more resonate than in the oil business? If we look at the opportunities that we've had, the lessons that we've learned throughout our life, from childhood through our professional careers, how is it we are using the things that we do to change the world? Ryan does not let what sometimes intimidates other people stop him from doing things that he thinks are possible. Where we are there to support good business, to work with them. We're there to help educate the people of the state that want to know and to give the people of this state confidence. That's, that's how I hope I'm measured. Brian has the vision, the energy, and the passion to do things that most people wouldn't even try. If we do our job well, so that all 27 million Texans, or as many of them as possible, are saying, man, I feel good about what's happening in our state, then we once again can get to a position where the state of Texas and the United States are leading the world's energy markets. And one thing I can always guarantee you about the price of oil, it's always going to go up and it's always going to go down. What we have to do is figure out how to stay the course. How do we go through these challenges and opportunities? How can we be a part of changing the world? And if we do that, man, what a proud time. Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Sitton, your Texas Railroad Commissioner. What are the odds that my video team would come and say, hey Ryan, we want to do a really edgy video with you doing P90X. And at the convention, there'd be the world's biggest CrossFit competition. I, I feel like we showed the video to the wrong audience. <laughs> I have been thinking about my comments to you for a few weeks. My first instinct was to tell you about my first year and a half in office. After all, this is my first time to serve in elected office, and we do some really special things at the Railroad Commission. But last night, I got to hear Dinesh D'Souza talk. He did, it was amazing. And I changed my speech last night. I was, no, I am a die-hard Ted Cruz supporter. My wife and I maxed out our donation to his campaign. We were helping raise money. I went up and caucused for Ted in Iowa. I actually went to three different caucuses to speak on his behalf. Two months ago, Ted announced that I was going to chair his energy policy task force. I was so excited. I'm thinking, man, this is it. This guy is going to be president because he's the right guy. And I was going to get to play a small role in helping make sure 
that Texas was once again leading this nation in establishing good energy policy. Last week on Tuesday, I was driving home from Austin to Houston. It was late in the evening and I was listening to the results come in from Indiana. As I was pulling into my neighborhood, Ted was coming on the radio and announcing that he was suspending his campaign. I was crushed. I'm sure like many of you were. When I pulled my car into my garage, I couldn't even go into my house. I walked out onto the cul-de-sac and probably did 40 or 50 laps trying to figure out what had happened. You know, people who are wiser than me typically instantly say, you know, the Lord doesn't always let us know his plan. Because I, I just knew we were on the right track. So when I came to this convention this week, I was actually apprehensive about something. How would I answer the question, hey Ryan, what are you going to do in November? Obviously I can't vote for the Democrat. But can I say with conviction that I'm going to support our nominee? When I listened to Dinesh talk last night, my heart was changing. Because Dinesh got me thinking, don't wallow in the setbacks. Think about the opportunity. I can stand here before you today and tell you with conviction, I am absolutely going to vote for our nominee in November. And let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. This party is bigger than one man. This party has been built for 200 years by people like Abraham Lincoln and Ronald Reagan by people like you, grassroots activists who have put 30 and 40 and 50 years of your lives into shaping this party into what it is today. I'm going to vote for our nominee, not because of the man that he is today, but because of the president I am hopeful all of us can help him become. Is that enough? Does it stop there? The answer is a resounding no. You see, the other thing that 20 years of private business and entrepreneurship taught me before the year and a half I've been in politics is that when the chips are down, you act. We have a very special opportunity in Texas. One other thing Dinesh talked about last night is he talked about the centers of power in the United States. He talked about the fact that the financial center of the United States is New York. That the political center of the United States is in Washington, D.C. He talked about the technology center was Silicon Valley and the media center was Los Angeles. And he articulated that all four of those are controlled by Democrats. And he said, plain and simple, when it comes to challenging that power base, Texas stands alone. But something Dinesh did not say that I want to add, politics, finance, technology, and media, none of them even exist without energy. And the energy center of the United States is right here in Texas. Texas produces 6% of the world's energy. Sure, when some financial event happens in New York, the rest of the world hears about it. When some new technology rolls out of Silicon Valley, the rest of the world sees it. Texas 
puts 200,000 barrels of more of crude on the market a day, the rest of the world feels it. My friends, I want to ask you to help me with something. I have a favor to ask. I want us today to start thinking differently about the role that we play nationally and globally. Everyone here with a Facebook account or a Twitter account, I want you to help me send one message. Now remember, I'm an engineer, so I like formulas. Texas plus energy equals the most powerful state in the world. Help me send that message. If you want to tag me on Facebook, find me on Twitter, great, that's easy. But send that message. You see, if we say, you know what, we have a leadership role to play. The things we do in Texas and energy reverberate around the world. And we're going to make sure that we leverage our position in energy to be an example. Now, as your railroad commissioner, what can I do? After all, I'm busy with trains, right? I'm just a geek engineer in a low-level, down-ballot statewide position. What can I do? Let me tell you what I can do. Texas is unique because of all the states and all the countries. In Texas, the group that regulates energy, oil and gas and coal mining, does not report to the governor. We are not political appointees. I answer directly to each and every one of you. You determine what you want from this state when it comes to energy. And I submit to you this. You tell us, Railroad Commission, make sure that we are confident in how this business is doing. I may not like the fact that an oil well is on my property. I may not like that pipeline going through my community. But make sure that we know that it's safe. Because if you do, then I can be really excited about the role our state plays in the world when it comes to energy. Thank you. In the Bible, Gospel of Luke, chapter 12, verse 48, we are told to whom much is given, much will be required. When you think about the gift that all of the Texans who came before us gave us, this such a powerful state, such an influential state would be left to us to lead today. What will we do with what we've been given? Today, sure, we will vote for our nominee. But tomorrow, we'll make sure we're taking the actions. Yes, I will vote for our nominee because of who I hope he can be. But I will work every day as hard as I can for this state because I know what it can be. It can be the brightest star amongst the 50. It can be the state that all the other states look at and say, I, we want to do what they're doing. It can be the state that exemplifies the principles on which this country was founded. If we play that leadership role, then we together can change the world. That is the power of this opportunity. It is the power of unity, and it is the power of the Republican Party of Texas. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a great rest of your convention. Thank you.